Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Revelation. Woohoo! Super excited to be back with you guys. Now, we have, to start off the episode, it's going to be on a bit of a sad note, guys. So I came out here, and look what's missing. Clubby is gone. I have no idea what happened, because there's nothing bad in there. All the cows have survived. It's like Clubby just disappeared. I don't know. I'm blaming it on some kind of a glitch or maybe some jerk came over and took care of our friend in a bad way. I'm just not happy about it. Not good. Not good at all. But anyway, we have to we have to move forward. It's what Clubby would want. So I've been using this culture vat to hatch up a few more eggs. Or not hatch, but well, I don't know, grow, make yeah, synthesize, something like that. Make up a whole bunch more eggs. So we got like an Allosaurus, Gallimimus, Velociraptor, Compi, and a Certosaurus. Bunch of stuff. We have a whole bunch of, uh, let's see, DNA here we can use. We even got like a fish DNA right there. That's cool. So we can get into some of that. But I'm just, with what happened to Clubby and stuff disappearing and trying to take out our friends, I just, I still want to try and get to the other dimension. And guys... I think I figured out how we're going to get to another dimension. So, in here, I do believe... Hold on. Yeah, right there. Red Ant Troll Blocks. I think that's how we're going to get to the other dimension. We'll go down to the mine. We'll find some troll blocks. We'll mine them out. We'll right-click on a red ant. And, uh... Yeah, we'll teleport to the red ant dimension. And there, I think we can find all of the, uh... All the different ant nests that we'll need to get to a better dimension. But in the meantime, there's a couple things I wanted to take care of. So, first order of business. Our chest plate broke. No more flight. Or glidey kind of jumpiness. That was a lot of fun. But guys, guess what? Morph. I can't believe I didn't even try this. So check it out. I'm a bird. Creative flight. Good. Yep, that's right. Although, I'm not very samson -y right now. I have 1 HP. Yeah, no, it's not very samson -y at all. I don't know. I think we're going to have to get, like, some kind of sweet jetpack or something. Look at that. I can, like, fly right in. That's kind of nice. And so we'll just click back, go back to Samson. Ta-da! Bam. So, I want to make another chest plate. There's a couple things I want to try here. So we have this mithril stuff that I was able to mine up in the mines. It's from the Mystic Ores mod. I have no idea how good this is. Okay, it gave us like full armor. It looks like it does three and a half. Three and a half armor deals. What does Amethyst Boots do? It does one and a half. Legs do three and a half. Okay, not bad. What's this Emerald Helmet do? One and a half. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. So we got that going. I was going to make one out of emerald. If uh, if that didn't end up being anything half decent. Now the other thing I want to do is we got these power gems. And we finally got enough of one type to make the gem. So we got the power gem of haste. I have no idea what this thing does. Or how you use it or anything. But I want to try it. Oh, am I fast? I, am I am I faster? Faster, faster? No? Can I shift right click or left click or any kind of clickiness? No. Oh man, I thought having this on us would like give us haste. Now we can make the chest plate, which might give us haste. We also need this for the super drill, which is something I really want to try. So what do we need for that? Obsidian, gold, a few more of those, and a block of diamond? Okay. I think we actually have we have everything we need for that, except for a block of diamond. We only have four diamonds, so we'll have to wait. What I'll do is we'll add it to our to-do list. Super drill. Power gem. There we go. So on my list here, I got a couple things going on. So we did do the quarry. We set up a dino feeder. We don't have a food form. We don't have ore processing. We have still not found some any ants. Man, we did do our crossbow. We don't have an ME system. We haven't done any metacraft stuff. I want to try this Fluivac thing. That would be cool. I want a jetpack. I want to do more with power gems, so we'll leave that there. 
But right here, guys, pipes for sorting and ender chests. So between episodes, I went to the nether, I got some blaze rods, I should have them right here. Sweet, blaze rods. I want to make ender chests. Now let's see. I think I might actually be missing uh, wool for that. But let's take a look. What do, we, what do we need? What do we need? We do need ender pearls. So we happen to have two ender pearls. Just enough to get this done. We need obsidian and we need wool. So let's see. Obsidian. We got obsidian. I think it's just enough. We're going to need four. So we get. There we go. Four. Uh, do I have any wool in here? Here, woolly, woolly, woolly. Let's see, wool, wool, wool. No wool. Okay. We'll have to get some wool. No big deal. And then we need a couple of chests, which I have right there. Awesome. So we're going to live on the wild side. We're going to take all this with us. And, oh, one last thing we're going to need is I'm going to be smart. I'm going to bring some shears this time when we're going to get wool. That way we can get more wool and uh, our sheep friends will still be there when we get back. So let's put away that. Let's go get ourselves some sheep and not suffocate in the roof. Yeah, that's, that's the plan. No roof suffocations. Got a little bit of time. So I have the quarry turned off. I moved it over here. Got it set up. I think it, you guys saw this. But uh, yeah, let's look for some sheep. Going on a sheep hunt. Gonna catch a white sheep. Maybe. Oh, sheep. Give me all your fluffy goodness. Come here, sheep. And we got two. Okay, okay. That's enough. Hey, that's good. We're good. Okay. Let's get out of here. Flying through the air like a bird. Like, we're flapping so fast. I feel like we should like have like, a little buzzing sound. Okay. Let's get in here. I want to be a bluebird, but it doesn't seem to like to hotbar that one. I don't know. And return back to my glorious form. Okay. So I think we have everything. Let's. This is this is exciting, guys. Let's try and make some of these. Yes. Okay. So now that we got them, I want to label them with like a specific color. We'll probably just go with blue. You know, we'll go with like one blue in like the middle or something like that so if you've never used these they're really simple i'm sure you guys have used them you guys are experts right so you got these three little little white guys you just click on it with any kind of dye it'll change that color now before they were connected right we're gonna stick our chicken in there so this is all white this one is blue in the middle see how there's it's not not the same inventory but if we dye this like that Oh, I didn't realize that. It's a good thing I didn't put anything important. Because I dyed it, it actually moved over to the other frequency, so we lost that. So if we ever make an all-white one, we're going to have some chicken in it. That's kind of funny. That'll be fun later on if we ever use all-white. So, so we can just mine these up, pick them up. I think they'll stack. Yeah, they stack because they're the same. Sweet. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to keep these shears on me because I'm always running out of wool. And that way we can we can get shears. So next order of business, we need we need some pipes and some servos. So we go thermal. You know what? No, we're gonna go item. If I can spell it, item item duct. There we go. Item duct. What is this? Item drink name, Mr. Crayfish Furniture Mod. Okay, that's fun. Let's see, I think we just want regular old item ducks. So these are the clear ones. You know what? I think the opaque ones are easier. Yeah, just lead and tin. Lead and tin. Oh, nighttime. Sleep. Woo. Good thing we got to sleep. If I would have missed that, I would have been all grumpy in the morning. Okay, let's check it out. Lead, lead, tin, tin. Nope, I don't need you, silver. Go away. And I am going to need... Do I have electrum? I do have electrum. I have some iron. I think I'm going to need a little bit of redstone. Uh, we'll leave that one in there. I'll grab some of this redstone. And yeah, let's start getting this going here. So item ducks is just lead and tin. How many do I get? Six? Hmm. Let's make like... Ah, whatever. Let's make 18. That works. 
Now what we also need, because thermal expansion with, with the new updated version, you need these servos. I want to go right to reinforced because that'll allow us to do something half decent. So that means we're going to need hardened glass. It's a good thing we have some obsidian left because we can make hardened glass with our smeltery. Uh, I just need to melt up some lead. I think two should be fine. Ah, oh, nuts. We're out of, uh, out of lava in our smeltery. I'm just going to pick this up and I'm going to chuck it in here for now because we're not really using it. Let's go get some lava. Oh, we got a stinking scorpion guy. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not panic. We can handle this. And let's not die in the wall. Let's go up here. Oh, this is so cheaty. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I got my awesome crossbow, sucker. Do like five damage to you. Oh, he's like healing faster than we can even like hurt him. That's crazy. And this crossbow does like 20. It's supposed to be doing 20 damage. I don't even know if we'll be able to kill him. That would be really cool if we could kill him. Let's see, 288, 281. Alright, we might be able to do this. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of a pause. I'm going to come back when I'm closer to taking this guy down. Okay, guys, we're so close to taking him out. He's down to 23 health. Oh my gosh, something's shooting fireballs. 13, 7, 7, 5, oh, 2 health. Okay. Yeah! That's right. <laughs> Took him out. Okay, I don't even know what we got. I can't see because I'm, I'm like a little birdie right now. Okay. Looks like we got like obsidian from that. That's kind of cool. I'll take some free obsidian. Get out of here, little scorpion. So we got, ooh, unbreaking four. Fire protection, projectile protection. We got the emperor scorpion scale, which is awesome. Diamond chest plate, unbreaking two shovel emerald whole bunch of good stuff from that that's cool and hmm, I totally forgot what I came out here for it was not to fight that scorpion we needed these we needed that we needed lava that's what it was okay I remember no problem we're back guys <laughs> Yep. All right. Oh my goodness. Wrong button. Almost sunk right into the lava. Where am I going? Wow. Okay. So let's get this lava back in there. Let's make up that hardened glass. That was a bit of an exciting little emperor scorpion battle. That was fun. Uh, you know, every once in a while you got to break up the warrior in you and just hit something with a crossbow. Yep. So let's see. It should be melting down this. Oh, there we go. Molten lead. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. We'll melt down an extra two. And we are going to need this bucket now. So all you do, I think I showed you guys this before, you stick the obsidian in there, and you pour the melted lead on it, and it turns it into the uh, reinforced glass, which is really cool. I think that stuff's like super blast protection. Like, really, really good uh, against, like, creepers, and I don't even know if it's, I don't think it's weatherproof, proof, but pretty good. So, I don't know if it's a whole, is it a whole ingot's worth? Like, one? I don't think it is. We got two. You know, we got some extra obsidian from that guy. I might as well make up some more of this. And we can get those servos going. So, my plan is to take these... Uh, this ender chest, put it on top of the quarry, right? And so everything will be pushed into the ender chest. Then, uh, after we'll put the other ender chest, like, maybe over here. And from there, we're going to suck out, with using the uh, the servos and these pipes, we're going to suck everything out of the chest. And, uh, let's see, is that the last of it? It is, okay. We're going to suck everything out of the chest and just put it into some assigned chests just get like kind of organized over here that sounds like a good idea to me so now that we have all this together and we need 
iron nuggets for that. Okay, we're going to make six for now. There we go. That should be good. Also, uh, let's see. I want to use that up. Let's chuck some of this enchanted stuff over here. Oh, I had wool over here. Look at that. Man, it's going to pay to be organized. I can't wait to get an ME system, guys. Oh, it's going to be so nice to have uh, an ME system. Let's see, I got some junk over here. We'll just chuck some of this junk over here. And we'll stick that wool in there. There we go. Now we'll find it later on. Looks like we got beef from killing that scorpion as well. That's kind of funny. All right, let's chuck all this away. Emerald. Uh, hardened glass will go in here with the blocks. Oh, we had hardened glass too. Man, I should really be checking stuff. That's all right. So, I want some, like, these gold chests over there. It means I'm going to need iron, and I'm going to need gold, which we have a ton of gold from golden apples. And I had some... I have stuff in these. This one's empty. I'll take this one. And we also have... I think we have some extra chests over here. And we have extra chests over here. Okay, cool. And we'll clear all this out. And we're going to make up ourselves up some chests. So we'll just surround it with iron. Bam. Six iron chests. Surrounded by gold. And six gold chests. Good to go. Alright. Now, trying to figure out where I want to put all this. Looks like night's fast approaching here. Sleepy time. Man, has it already been that much time? I can't believe time's flying so fast. Okay, let's get this set up. Hmm. Maybe in here will be okay. I don't think it's going to really be in the way of anything. Just got to get all this junk out of here. Hmm. Okay, guys, I'm going to do a little bit of setup here, and I'll be right back, just because of time. Okay guys, back again. We're making up one last item here. I want to make a trash can from extra utilities. And it looks like they added in an energy trash can and a fluid trash can as well. That's kind of cool. So we're going to put that there. And now we're going to need to start using these reinforced servos. So I'm going to put that there. And we need to pull out our wrench. Let's see. And. Oh, hold on. What happened to that servo? Where'd you go? Oh, I can't believe we just lost that. What? Okay, anyway. Try it again. Put it on. So if we go like this, we're going to change this to... Oh, uh, you know what it is, guys? Hold on. I think I just had a derp. There's servos and there's... Retrievers? I think one is input and one is output. So I think these servos pull and the retrievers or filters push. That's what it is. Darn, we wanted to make filters. Okay. I'm going to make some filters and we'll be right back. Oh, man. Okay, guys, we're back. So I have some filters now. We're going to put a filter on this trash can because what we want to do is we want to make a... Let's see, I want a whitelist, which means uh, it's going to put only what is in our whitelist into this trash can. So I want to filter out cobblestone. I also want to grab a sample of some of these other uh, types of bricks that we're not going to be using. I don't want lot, any of these. I don't want this. I, I might keep this kind of cool marble. I like the black look of it. Um, let's see, we're going to filter out dirt, six, uh, we'll keep sand, we'll keep any bricks, and I guess we'll do diorite as well. So we'll come over to this whitelist, all you have to do is click once with the material, and it'll remember that specific material, and it'll put that item, if it comes through the pipe, into, uh, into that inventory, and what happens is, 
we'll do a little example here. With this trash can, anything that you put in the trash can, bam, disappears, deleted completely. And what we want is we're going to use the servo to pull items out of the uh, out of the ender chest right there. So we're going to disable redstone. 64 items at a time, that's good. We're not going to do any kind of whitelist or blacklist or anything, so we just want it to pull any kind of item that's in here out. So it's going to pull it out, it should have put it into here. So let's just check these. It's not in any of those. Perfect. And so now what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to set up this chest on our quarry. It looks like it's almost night again. Let's sleep one more time. Oh, soon enough. There we go. Sleeping outside in a sleeping bag, just like camping. Sweet. <laughs> okay, let's get over there. Da -da -da. And one thing I also want to do is I want to get uh, like some ender tanks and get... Uh, Get the lava coming in like super continuously from our from our quarry. So hmm. now picking this up is going to be a little interesting. Let's chuck all this garbage in there. And what in here is worth keeping? Keep that. Keep that. 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 Tin, silver, plastic, and we're full. Keep this fossil instead of the string. And you know what? We can just pick up anything else afterwards. So let's break this. Use a pickaxe. It might be a little more effective. There we go. Stuff just shooting everywhere. Stick down our ender chest. And we can actually just pop all of this stuff into here. And see how it's getting pulled out? It's not super fast. We can maybe upgrade to a better servo a little later. But it's doing the job. So we can just kind of jump on here, or not. Get around. Pick up some of this other stuff and fill this up. And it should just start to chuck it all into our chests that are over there. And this is going to make it so that... Oh, we got another golden chest. Nice. That's only just destroyed. Stick all that in there. Stick that in there. Stick some more of this in there. And this is a really good test to see if that worked or not. I'm also going to... Should we have a wrench? Right there. And I'm going to turn this... Uh, we're going to activate these again so that they're dumping lava into our generators and our quarry starts to go. And this is going to be a good test to see if our server can keep up with what gets pumped into the quarry. Because it was, it was okay, it wasn't super fast, but um, it may be fast enough to keep up with what we got going on. And so now, all of this stuff is going to be just kind of randomly dumped. Let's see, it looks like it made it into these top two chests. Oh, we hit a book. Hmm. That probably means that we, uh, we hit some kind of dungeon. So it looks like it's not quite fast enough to pull, to pull everything out. Hmm. We may have to try and get an upgraded version of the servo, which would be the reinforced or the signalium. Because let's see, the exchange extraction rate for this is one second, this is half a second, and this is also half a second. I think this must have a bigger blacklist or whitelist. But for right now, we have a semi-automatic system. I do want to add some filters to these chests so that we can kind of pick what we're going to find in each one of these. So that's good, and we'll kind of just have everything else go into here. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to just start putting ores into these filter lists and unfortunately we can only do nine which isn't great but it is something we can kind of stick all of our dinosaur stuff in one of these and right there we realize okay this yellow stuff we do not want the yellow stuff so let's stick that in there check this yellow stuff over here and it should get deleted 
Now it looks like we also have limestone coming through. Did we not have limestone? We do have limestone. Hmm. Let's try this again. Let's see what happens there. We don't have this purple stuff. But that's okay, guys. We're, so we have somewhat of an, a system that can handle what will be coming through our quarry. Should be able to handle most of it. We'll have to go through our, our chests here and uh, just get a little more organized. But that's really nice, guys. I'm really happy with what we've been able to accomplish today and get going. We finally have an automated way to get in our dinosaur bones. And right now, I mean, we just got 10 and we got 10 more of these fossil guys. I moved our analyzer over here. And I might have to set up an automated way to empty this so that it just keeps going. That would be nice. Now, we have a fossilized spore. Do we need to stick that in here? I don't think so. I don't know how to use these plants that we get from this, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. But for now, guys, I think we're almost at the end of the episode. Let me just take a look and see what time we're at. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, guys, like I thought, we're at the end of the episode here, but I wanted to let you know I was looking over the footage uh, just at the last uh, last clip there and I did see that when I put the plant in here it does fill this up it does use one of these so this is working it's gonna do something for us um, we're gonna need more biofossils but just you guys it's uh, you don't need to comment or anything I figured it out thank goodness uh, now can I use these in that I wonder I want to check that out I'm not really going to use these relic scraps. It's not something I'm really going to use. But I do have some extra biofossils. We'll check that out in just a second. So we're pretty much at the end of the episode. Thanks for coming by, guys. Just wanted to show you. I got this set up for dino stuff. Got some gems over here. My ores will come in through these guys. And we're keeping up with what's coming in. So that's good. Thanks so much for coming, guys. If you're interested in more ARC videos or Jurassic Park Revelation like you're watching now, Please check out the playlists. I have them on my channel. Uh, looks like this doesn't work. Let's put these in. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for coming by. Lots of other videos. And we'll see you next time.